Pay your attention to know Turbimetric ASO Test Kit. How to program and set. In this video, we will see how to properly program and set Turbimetric ASO Test Kit with Auto and Semi-Auto Biochemistry Analyzer. I have taken the Turbimetric ASO Test Kit and PX50 Semi-Auto Biochemistry Analyzer, which is manufactured by Perfection. Before that, we will see its clinical significance, symptoms and its normal values. Here we are proceeding details of the ASO by Turbi Latex by the manufacturer perfection. You will see over here. So they have provided the literature for it. So according to the literature, we have to set the programs in the analyzer. So first of all, you have to go to the test option. So in the test option, you have to go for the open channel. Now we have to enter for the edit name. Now press for the edit, go to the parameters, go to the basic option. Now here you will see the general parameters are there to set the programs. So according to it, you have to set the program by the literature provided by the manufacturer. So here you have to press the name for the ASO. By pressing the backspace button, you have to press for the ASO, ASO. Now further, you have to go to the blank. As it is the fixed time method, it doesn't have the blank. So proceed for further, that is the units. Here units they have mentioned that the IU per ml. So mention for it, enter IU per ml, that is international units per liter. International unit per milliliter. Now go for the reagent volume for proceed for the test. So here you will see the reagent volume is 1000 microliter. So I will work with the half ratio. I will enter for the 500 microliter. And for the sample volume you will see that is the 10 microliter. I will enter for the 5 microliter. So for the factor it will come after calibration of the calibrator. Now for the test mode it is the fixed time. Enter for the fixed time. For the primary wavelength that is the wavelength here given as 546. Enter for the 546. Now for the temperature, they have given 37 degrees Celsius over here, so you have to enter for the 37 degrees Celsius. Now for the delay time, they have mentioned your delay time is this 10 seconds, so enter for the 10 seconds by pressing the back button, 10 seconds. And for the read time, they have given 120 seconds, so enter for the 120 seconds. We have entered all the parameters according to the literature, so save it and go for the return. Now press for the calibration and go to the concentration of the standard so we have to fit the concentration of the standard accordingly they have given on the uh, standard concentration referred to the standard wire so we have to enter accordingly to the wire which how much they have given it is given as a 280 IU per ml so accordingly to it we have to enter for it that is 280 IU you will see over here on the kit they have mentioned here the calibrator is 280 IU per ml. So accordingly to it we have to save it and you have to learn for the test. So I will tell the linearity of the reagent by the manufacturer they have given that is the 800 IU per ml which is the best linearity for the their reagents. So before testing I will tell that you have to take out the reagents from the refrigerator to make it in the uh, room temperature that is 25 to 30 degrees Celsius and after that we have to proceed for the test. For the procedure I will take for the requirements. You require the reagents of the latex of ASO. We require the micropipettes of 100 to 1000 microliter. We require 5 to 50 microliter pipette. Sterile and dry tips, sterile and dry test tubes tissue paper, distilled water, etc. So on the screen you will see they have told for the aspiration for the distilled water. Aspirate it. So we require the test tubes. To it we have to work for the calibrator and the poly test. So first of all as I told you I will I will working with the half ratio that is 4 is to 1 
the working solution we have to make as a 4 is to 1. So we have to take the 4 parts of R1, 4 parts of R1 that is the air buffer reagent R1 and taking 400 uh, microliter. Take without any air bubble. So we will get the accurate result for it. I am taking R1 in 2 test tube for the calibrator and the test. Close the lid tightly to over the contamination of the reagent. Now take R2 100 microliter. Here I just said for the 100 microliter, I, I am taking 100 microliter of R2. We have to place it only in the calibrator tube. Before proceeding for the calibration, I will tell that they have given the beneficial given the given the uh, calibrator in the powder form. So we have to make the dilution or uh, reconcentrate of it by taking 0.5 ml of distilled water. So I am reconcentrating it the with the distilled water of by taking 0.5 ml means 500 microliter of the distilled water. I made the reconcentrate of the ASO calibrator by adding 0.5 ml of the distilled water. I am taking 0.5 ml of standard concentration of the ASO. Wipe the excess and press for the calibration as we have to uh, calibrate for the standard. Mix it in the uh, working region of R1 and R2 and aspirate immediately to get the factor of it. Note down the initial OD that is 0 0.435 and it is in the increasing phase. On the screen you will see the calibrator result has been displayed that is the absorber standard is 0 0.161 and the factor is 1744.20. So you have to ok for the by pressing the enter button. Now we will do the aspiration for the sample. As Please note I am working with the standard only as a sample. So I have previously I told that I have taken the R1 in the insert tube. So I will add R2 to it that is 100 microliter. I am taking 0.5 of calibrator concentration of 280 IU per mg ml. I am mixing it in the working solution of R1 and R2. Mix it well and respect immediately. Please note the initial OD that is 0 0.473. The graph is in the increasing phase. It will take up to 120 seconds. Operating graph. For the test, we have to take 400 microliter of the R1 and 100 microliter of R2. I have taken the serum sample for the patient. We have to take 5 microliter of the serum sample. Wipe the excess. Mix in the working solution of the R1 and R2. Mix it well. Respect immediately. Please note down the initial OD that is 0 0.467 and the graph is in the increasing phase. Here you will see the reading is on the display. The absorbance is 0 0.049 and the reading is 85.99 IU per ml. As I have taken the serum sample of a patient which is in the normal range. 